Welcome to EMSS Antennas. My name is Neil van Royen. I am the SKA Lead Technician here at our production facility. And today I'll be demonstrating the assembly of one of the world's most sensitive RF receivers used in radio astronomy. Production follows a strict, uncompromising process starting with procurement. As individual parts are received, a detailed inspection is performed before it is booked into stores as part of the inventory. Each new build order is made out according to the bill of material where all the individual parts are kitted and delivered to the production floor. A single band 2 feed package consists of more than 50 sub-assemblies, which are mostly constructed in-house. The final product consists of four major assemblies, namely the horn, mount, sunshield and cryostat. And the cryostat is by far the most intricate and time-consuming of them all. This video shows its assembly process. Each assembly is built and tested according to its applicable build to documentation, which consists of parts list, drawings, assembly procedures, test procedures, etc. The main features of the RF path consist of the orthogonal mode transducer, which converts the waveguide modes received by the horn to coaxial cable signals. The signals are fed to the low noise amplifiers, known as LNAs, which perform the first stage amplification. The LNAs amplify the low power signals received from the outer parts of our universe without compromising the signal to noise ratio. To achieve this, the LNAs and lossy RF components are cryogenically cooled to attain the lowest possible noise temperature. From the LNAs, the signal passes through the second stage amplification. These components are linked with custom built coaxial cables that are specifically designed as the best compromise of high thermal isolation and low signal loss. Other important parts consist of the cryocooler, which lowers the LNA temperature to below 20 Kelvin, the calibration noise source and vacuum pressure sensors. Vacuum is used as thermal isolation inside the cryostat. Another very important component is the feed package controller. This is an FPGA based data acquisition and control system that implements the low level functions required for executing the commands received from the system controller. It is also the power supply for the receiver. It was designed to generate no RF signals that can interfere with the astronomy signals. Once assembly is complete, a diagnostic test is performed confirming functionality of all the integrated parts. The receiver is then sent to our research and development facility for factory acceptance testing. Once the unit passed acceptance testing, the test reports and build history gets released and the unit is prepared for site dispatch, ready for installation. We are also involved in the next step of the product life cycle where we offer support services that include on-site maintenance and repairs, ensuring product longevity, reliability and optimal performance.